Welcome to my channel. This is Daily News Clips. But before I get to that, I have to thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for making this channel what it is. It's you that has blown it up and grown the, the subscribership so great. And I thank you for that. Okay. I'm going to show this to you in a minute, but first I want to cover some other stuff. These are the news stories that I picked for today. Uh, <clears throat> the first one is I actually have two articles on this issue. The VA decided to ban the display of the famous KISS photograph from World War II in Times Square in New York City. Uh, a <clears throat> A high-level official in the VA decided that, and then the VA secretary overrode that official. And the excuse that they gave <laughs> was that the kiss was non-consensual. Now, how could they possibly even know that? Did they contact the girl who was kissed and ask her if she consented? No, they just assumed that it was non-consensual. Another sign of the times of our of the lives that are the days that we live in. <clears throat> then there's an article um, on Substack that I do want to show you. Um, let's see here. The title of the article is why I was wrong about trans. But what I want to get to in this is, it turns out that there is a group called WPATH, stands for World Professional Association for Transgender Health, WPATH. And what has happened is some enterprising independent journalists have uncovered documents that show the widespread medical mistreatment, mistreatment of children, adolescents, and vulnerable adults. They show that WPATH members and gender medicine practitioners aren't getting informed consent from their patients. And the, the thing about this is that WPATH is the premier uh, worldwide organization that advises physicians on gender surgery. So basically, uh, what these guys say goes, and it turns out they've been lying all along. So I'll have the links to all of this in the, in the description, as I always do, so you can follow up on these articles yourself. Then there is a Twitter tweet, which I will give you the link to, that reads, Fox projects that Biden loses American Samoa Democratic Caucus to Jason Palmer. <coughs> Excuse me, Jason Palmer. Jason Palmer is a self-described <clears throat> entrepreneur and investor. I'm sure you won't see this in the news, but Biden actually lost a primary. That's mind-blowing. I don't think that's ever happened before. And then the final item that I want to go over you with, with you go over with you, excuse me, is this one. Um, <clears throat> there was a group that challenged, that was behind the challenge of Trump's eligibility in various states, and they're now reacting to the Supreme Court ruling that says you can't do that. We are continuing our coverage of breaking news. The Supreme Court has ruled that former President Donald Trump can appear, appear rather on the 2024 ballot, overturning a decision by Colorado's high court. So Ron Fine uh, joins us now. He is the legal director for Free Speech for the People. It's an organization challenging former President Trump's right to be on the ballot in a number of states, including Colorado. So I, I should sort of clarify whether or not you were instrumental, a part of this uh, Anderson case uh, before the Supreme Court, and to get your reaction. 
Thank you. Uh, we at Free Speech for People pioneered challenges under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment uh, beginning in 2022 against congressional candidates and then against Donald Trump. In this 2024 season, we were joined by another organization uh, called Crew that uh, took the lead on the Colorado mm -hmm. case. And just last week, the Illinois courts uh, ruled that Trump engaged in insurrection. And what's important to note is that the Supreme Court's decision today did not exonerate him. They did not say that January 6th wasn't an insurrection. Okay. I'll put the link in the description. You can watch the whole video if you want to. But my point in playing this part of it is to point out something glaringly obvious that just <clears throat> it's so un-American <clears throat> Trump did not commit insurrection you know how I can say that because he has not been found guilty in any court of law of doing so and to phrase it in, a, in the way that they did not exonerate him means that you think he's guilty until proven innocent. I'm sorry, that's the French law. That's not American law. In American law, you're innocent until proven guilty. And no one has been proven. No one's even been charged with insurrection from January 6th. There's not been one single case of anyone being charged with insurrection. Now, why do you think that is? Because they can't prove insurrection. And to say that Trump has not been exonerated, or to say, as he said earlier, that the Illinois court found him guilty of insurrection? No, they didn't. They found that he could not be on the ballot because they said he committed insurrection, but they didn't find him guilty of insurrection. There was never even a trial. The, <clears throat> we have... We have arrived at a place in our country that is really terrifying if you think about it. And it should concern every, in, uh, every citizen in the country, regardless of your party affiliation, regardless of your politics. We've now arrived at the point where when people commit something, like a police officer kills a person or a person shoots another person, and they happen to be of the wrong race, People demand, demand that they be found guilty of murder. Forget having a trial. They want them hung right now. They want to lynch these people. This is not America. We don't do that. We're not supposed to do that anyway. We're supposed to have trials in courts of law, and people are supposed to be found legally guilty. It's terrifying to think that we could actually get to the point where people are found guilty without even a trial. That's, that goes back to the wild, wild west. When we hung people on trees without even asking them if they did it. It's crazy and it needs to stop. But it's not going to. Until we get quite a bit of turnaround in a lot of different areas of our country. This crap is going to continue. And it's so troubling. It's so disgusting. It's so terrifying. <sighs> That's the news for the day. I'll put the links in the description as I always do. And I'll pray for you as I always do. I pray that you will live an abundant life and that you'll be healthy and that you'll live a long time and that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray that he will do the same for everyone that you love. And I also pray that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam era vet out. <laughs>